In this video, I'm going to be telling you the top five units in toilet tower defense. But before we go ahead and do that, would you like the chance to go ahead and win yourself a free exclusive scientist crate? All you need to do is drop a like, subscribe to the channel, then come to your Robux username down below. I pick one lucky winner for each video. Anyway, guys, without further ado, well, let's get on with the video. You guys have been showing so much support in the videos lately, so I thought to go and make this video. I'm going to make it into a tier list. So I'm going to go and show you and tell you what I think the best units are in the game. To be aware, this is completely my opinion. If you disagree with it, tell me down below in the comments what you think the best five units are. Also, I made it sort of a mixed list. So this is going to include free-to-play stuff, stuff that costs a little bit of Robux, and stuff that costs a lot of Robux. Okay, so first unit I'm going to tell you guys is free to play one it's actually the scientist caravan you may be confused but if you didn't know if you go ahead and beat toilet hq you get a free scientist crate the crate has a 70 percent chance of having a scientist caravan in so it's the one you're most likely going to get although there's a chance you're not getting it high chance of getting it we're actually going to open one we didn't actually get it surprising there we actually got one of the more rarer units but scientist caravan is a free to play unit in my opinion as it's just so easy to go ahead and get so go ahead and load to games go ahead and show you how good this unit is you can basically use it for whatever stage you're on even pro players use this as a unit you're probably always going to go ahead and use just because it is such a good unit to go ahead and have. I'm going to quit loading the game right now and I'm going to explain to you the perks of it and also the downsides of it. It does mainly have a, just a ton of perks. So it costs 100 to go ahead and place down and it'll go ahead at level 1. It basically goes ahead and generates you 50 cash per turn. So it's just a spawning in level. So placing down one of them, it'll take you two turns to go make your money back. After that, everything is profit. So you've just left it for the rest of the game, you make a lot of profit. This is definitely better on stages that have more waves. It is more of a higher level unit. Equally, it can be useful anywhere. It's such a good unit to go ahead and have. You can go ahead and actually upgrade it. I think it costs 300 for the first upgrade. That makes it going from making you 50 a turn to go ahead and making you 100. And then the next upgrade is 600. And that makes it going from 200 to no 100 to 200 and it'll go ahead and keep on progressing like that until it becomes more expensive, but generating you more cash as the game goes on. The second unit on our list is actually the Toilet Helicopter. This is one of my favourite units in my opinion. Actually, we have two of them. Um, there's no use having two of them, but it's pretty easy to go ahead and get. It's a free-to-play unit. It's a 4% chance of going ahead and getting. Of course, you have to wait for the summon time to be at the right time for you to do it. It'll go ahead and reset. So you just go ahead and wait for your time to reset. And then you go ahead and try your best to obtain this unit. Save up coins to go ahead and get it. It's a really good unit. You can pretty much use it all the way throughout the game. Other than Camera HQ. Um, it still can be used there. But isn't as like necessarily uh, to go and use. I mean, Toilet HQ. So I'm a bad there. There is actually a pay to play version of this. Called the Engineer Cameraman. This is a 1% to go ahead and get. So I'm not including it on this list. Although it is the better version. It's just way too expensive. And the chance and the amount of people that actually have this unit is so low. Didn't really think we should include it on the list but if you're not sure what this does go ahead and place it down it costs 200 cash and it'll go ahead and spawn you in these caraman units that basically have 200 health as you can go ahead and see them and they also have a weapon on them and i believe they go ahead and do 50 damage as they go ahead and approach other units you go ahead and see they start to go ahead and do damage i believe i actually the damage them is wrong and they do 100 damage per shot so they do quite a lot of damage they also do have their health bar as well so when other units go ahead and collide with them They'll go ahead and take that away from their total health, just in case you're wondering what the health is like. So your units won't target them. These guys are completely on your team. They'll go the opposite way to the toilets. And then when the toilets go ahead and collide them, they'll act as like a wall. So if the toilet has 100 health and they have 200 health, the toilet will go ahead and hit into it. The toilet will vanish and it will still have 100 health left plus its weapon. I should go ahead and upgrade the unit. They'll go ahead and not only go up in health, but they also go up in damage. It's actually quite cheap to go and upgrade them. When you go ahead and get the total four, they have 5,000 health, and they also go ahead and do 500 damage. But if you get yourself over 1,500 cash, it'll go ahead and raise that, not only will reducing the cooldown times, the space of time they spawn in by, it'll go ahead and make the health of them 15,000. So it times their health by three. And if you go ahead and do that as well, the damage also gets times by four. So we need 2,000 damage. As you can go ahead and see, max there. It's a really cool and really strong unit that will go ahead and come in. This will be really good if there's a boss coming at the very end. Or if you just need some backup on stages like Desert, just getting two of these placed down will pretty much cover you for a very, very good chunk of the game. Um, I haven't actually tried it on the final stage of Desert, just having two of them, but they have a lot of health and they're really good. They have a decent amount of range as well, so they can go ahead and shoot units from the other side of the map at times, or at least other sides of the track. So go ahead, as we see this guy will go ahead and collide in just a few seconds. Uh, one of the weak ones just got taken out there, but this guy will be able to go ahead and literally tank all of these as its tank does 2,000 damage, and itself also it has 15,000 health, so that means it can take about 15,000 health worth of units, which in waves like it's desert, completely destroy them, and other stages will do pretty good as well. 
This next unit on the list is going to be the first paid one. It's actually the Titan Cameraman. It costs a 200 Robux, but it's the first paid for unit on the list. It isn't actually that expensive. If you play a game like Please Donate, getting 200 Robux won't actually take you that long. And it actually is really worth it for how low cost it is. It can go ahead and do a lot of damage. So we're going to go and place one down. Just there, of course, it's a more earlier game, but it's actually, I know a lot of people that still go ahead and use this. Just it's such a cheap Titan to go ahead and upgrade. So it's the Titan camera, and you go see its stats there at its first level. It does about 50 damage, but if we go ahead and do some upgrades to it, then stats go up by actually quite a bit. So not only does it shoot much faster, it also level up pretty fast, and all the upgrades are pretty cheap until the last one, which may be quite expensive, but it does go ahead and double your damage, over double your damage, in fact. So it's a really good unit. This unit's pretty well balanced. It's cheap, affordable. There is definitely better Titans out there, but for its actual cost, it's actually really good. And it's also the first time on the list. You find um, it can power off so much of a unit. Uh, I would eventually, when you get like, to the very end of the game, replace it with a Titan. But till then, it can be a pretty good unit. And if you got multiple of them down, you can do a lot of damage to some pretty high-end level bosses. Okay, so there's so many good options we could have gone ahead and included for the last option on the list. Of course, we could have probably made the whole list just a bunch of Titans, but I don't feel like it would have been good for earlier game players. So I went ahead and I went for the Titan at Cinema. And I did ask quite a few people for this. For its earlier upgrades, it may just be an okay unit, it's still a good one. But if you can go ahead and get, I believe it's its third or its fourth upgrade, you may notice the damage will go ahead and go down on it. But if you can go ahead and get this upgrade, it will goes ahead and gets an AoE damage. If you're not sure what that means, that means error of effect. So that basically an area around it, it'll go ahead and damage. So instead of just damaging the one unit, it will normally go ahead and punch it. It'll go ahead and damage multiple of them. So although its total damage may go down per unit, really good. If you can get a bunch of these down, you can take out so many bosses if they're upgraded. As you can see, its health actually does not help. Its damage goes down. It doesn't tell you anything else it gets. It's an expensive upgrade. This can be such a powerful unit, especially late game. Get a bunch of these down. You're going to see bosses come straight past you and they're going to get absolutely destroyed. I was debating about putting some upgraded Titans on, but I generally think this is better than it's such a really good unit people that i've asked have said it's an amazing unit just when you can get it upgraded for its earlier stages i'd agree it may not be the best still really good unit to have but compared to other titans it may not be the best one for its early stages you get that final upgrade in it though and it is going to be doing so much damage i'll we'll actually give it a second try and let some of these go ahead and come past and we'll just show you what it's like when it does have its last upgrade there. It is an expensive one that is always something to keep in mind. So you will be wanting to use this more like later game or when you can place one now. As you can go ahead and see, uh, my friend just went ahead and upgraded that there. So we're going to be able to see it do a lot of damage. At the moment, we've still got all the things uh, blocking it. Of course, we are doing this in uh, Desert, which is no real need to. You would, you would use this in higher level stages. This wouldn't be for Desert. Uh, this is more for people that are on like, the end game of the game. Like the actual, like you're, you're pretty good at the game. You would probably know what you're doing. Such a good unit to go ahead and have though of course i can definitely make more videos like this where you go over units uh this video i've tried to make it so it's a mix of things in reality these probably aren't the best five units but i've tried to make it so there's units in here whether you've just started it can be a really good unit for you to go and have whether you're like depending like basically no matter what part of the game you're on these units will go ahead and be useful for you as we also go and see it's actually doing its damage now it is doing a lot it's just deleting all of them i know they don't have tons of health but you get multiple these down get upgraded you'll be doing so much damage um anyway guys thank you for watching this video if you want to make more videos Videos, uh, tell me down below. Also, uh, comment dog if you made it this far. I want to see you made it this far. Anyway, guys, see you next time. Have an amazing one. Bye.